Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how we use Kendo UI grids over empty divs under the ISP.NET MVC environment. Uh, this is the second video of a series where, where I'm showing you how we're using it. Uh, the first video cover a lot of the basics and uh, cover how to start the grid from an HTML table. In this video we're going to take an ASP MVC list, the one that is generated by the template just like this one, and we're going to convert it uh, to a Kendo UI grid but user using um, everything over an empty div. So this is a regular template, but I've added some things just to make it a little different. So the price here is color coded and the delete is bound to a JavaScript event that will basically confirm that you want to delete and remove the row. So uh, let's see the code here and it's uh, pretty much what is generated by uh, MVC for you by the template and here are the little different things that we've had uh, the color coded and then here I add uh, a class so it's handled by the JavaScript alright so in this example we actually don't need anything of what was generated for us so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it and I'm going to add here a div. I'm going to give an idea of cars grid. All right, so here's where we're going to put our grid. Now, before we do anything, we need to remember to include the um, all the references we need from, from Kendo UI. So here I'm adding the two CSS that are necessary, the common and the actual uh, uh, theme and uh, I'm including the entire library of Kendo UI. Um, so that's that. Now in this example we do have to go to the controller and this particular view just get the, the car list and pass it to the view. Uh, in, in the example we're going to use a data source from from the, the Kendo UI framework so we're actually going to remove the car list and make sure that we just don't pass anything to the view. On the view, I'm just going to change this here to dynamic uh, to make it kind of default. And uh, that call actually is going gonna, is gonna to become a JSON call. So it's going to be called get cars. It's going to go to a repository, gets them all and uh, um, we're gonna allow get. If we go to the browser here and simply uh, say get cars we're gonna see that uh, JSON comes out. Alright so we have our code behind ready so now we're gonna specify uh, via JavaScript that this is our Kendo grid I'm just going to copy and paste here. This is not going to do anything because um, we haven't defined anything for our grid. So if I go to the website and refresh it, uh, it just doesn't have anything there. Um, let's go and specify a data source, which is what we actually going to need. And um, so in the options of the data grid, I'm going to say uh, data source and I'm going to specify a transport and on the transport I'm going to say read and read from where I'm going to just say home get cars uh, and just to finish up I'm going to say that the data type is uh, JSON. All right, so um, we have our transport and our data source. Now, data source are an important part of the Kendo UI framework. If you go to Kendo UI under web, um, you're going to see 
uh, that part of the framework is going to be data source and it's going to explain you the basic uses of the data source. Uh, so, but in our case, we're uh, using a transport, we're reading from get cars, and the data type is JSON. Let's see if this did anything. All right, uh, it came up with uh, basic information, but it pretty much it did what I expected to do. Uh, sorting is not really working uh, because we haven't really tell anything to this grid about our, uh, the information we're receiving so it's just rendering stuff. So the next thing that I'm going to do is define the columns and uh, I'm just going to copy and paste it. So I'm going to go here and specify the columns. It's uh, a JSON uh, array and a column has a field name and in this case it should it should uh, be equivalent to whatever you're getting on your JSON. Then the title could be whatever. And I'm here telling it whether it's sortable or not. So with that information, let's see what it did. All right, so um, the ID is gone. The, the titles are what I want, but it's still not sortable. And it's because I need to make the entire grid sortable. So I'm just going to say sortable true and just like that I should now have it sortable you see the ones that I've enabled are sortable okay but remember I have a, a delete over there uh, under actions let's see how we're gonna do that because that's one of the interesting points uh, of, of, of this tutorial so we're gonna say the field is ID the title is actions is not sortable but now I need to specify a template now template on a template on Kendo UI basically you can get it from a script template or uh, in this case I'm just gonna specify it there and what is this is doing is it's gonna say that the template contains the actions to delete and with a slash and then this is here where it's going to get the value ID and put it there. All right, so let's see that. So now I have the delete and it's not working. So I'm going to set the data bound event like we did in the previous example. Uh, function is receive an event. I'm gonna copy this function right here but as we know we can not only uh, uh, hide the, the row we actually needed to remove it from the data source itself so I'm gonna copy some uh, code that I have here and what this is doing is getting a handle of the actual Kendo grid then from the grid it gets the data item the closest DR and then remove it from the data item from the data source. So now this should work. One more thing we, before we go, I just noticed here that this needs to be data bound. So now we go and refresh this and say delete and it's deleting. Uh, simple enough, uh, we can say also that we want to be pageable, true. Uh, remember the page size is on the data source. Save. Now it's paging. Let's uh, take it a little step uh, further and say that we want groupable, true, and um, we are, we also want it filterable, true. And let's see what that does to our uh, grid. Now I can group a year or I can filter by make, let's say Hyundai. Oops, 
Did I misspell it? Yep. Can clear it now. That's it. We have a fully functional data grid, sortable, pageable, groupable, filterable, and all uh, in a few minutes. Well, this is a second example. This is how to uh, set up your Kendo UI grid over an empty div. We're using JSON as a data source, and uh, we're pretty much have a full functional uh, data grid. So I hope this helped. Goodbye.